Hello, it's Monday, October 22nd, and I'm Yvonne DeSellas from YDC TV. I just wanted to add a couple of tapping techniques to my video log. Um, I have learned almost all of my tapping things from Nick Ortner, but these two things I'm about to show you I have learned from either Donna Eden or her daughter, Dondi Dolan. These are tapping techniques that you can use to help relieve anxiety. One of them is you take your hand, either hand, I always do my right hand, but I think it doesn't matter whether you do left or right. But again, right hand, the space between your last two fingers down here, you tap right here. And you can do this with your hand free, or you can put your hand on your heart chakra. And once again, I've got to do something about this camera. And I've got to move this too, because right now my hand's on top of my speaker. But again, hand on the heart chakra, you can put both hands on the heart chakra, but you want to do the tapping. And what I've read is that it's effective or most effective if you do at least 60 or 66 of these taps. So you just count it while you're doing it. And again, I'm going to stand up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tapping in that space between my last two fingers. And I'm just going to tap, tap, tap. And breathe and tap and breathe and tap. This is supposed to help. You can give yourself affirmations while you're tapping if you want. I could say, despite the fact that I'm incredibly stressed out, I'm going to let this sensation take me over and calm me down. I'm not going to let the stress get to me. I'm not going to let the stress get me down. And I'm going to switch hands now. And again, these two fingers right here, I'm doing the space between my last two fingers and I'm tapping it on my heart chakra. If that were to not feel right, I would just hold my hand away and I would just tap or even tap this way. You want to make sure you're tapping the joints between your last two fingers. I do it at the heart chakra or over my, either at the heart chakra or on my neck. Heart chakra is supposed to be the most effective though, so I just do the tapping here. And I'm probably tapping right over my microphone. I'm sorry about that. If I'm doing that, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make these incredibly loud noises. But anyway, that's one tapping mechanism that's supposed to be really good that I learned, again, from, I think it was Dondi Dolan who I learned that one from. I definitely would have learned this next one from Donna Eaton. This is called temporal tapping. What you do is you tap over the ears on the side of your head. And what Donna Eden had said in the training that she did is you say your negatives on your left side and your positives on your right side. And what I mean by negatives and positives, here's an example. I'm not going to let the MS get to me. I'm not going to let the fibro rule me. I'm not letting my health problems rule my life. I won't let pain stop me. I won't let fatigue stop me. I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. I'm going to be healthy. So again, say your negatives on the left side, say your positives on the right. It doesn't even have to be a health thing. It can be anything. Um, I don't necessarily believe all these things are going to come true just because I'm saying them, but I want to believe. So here's another example. I'm not going to be poor forever. I'm going to find a way to get money. I'm going to be wealthy. I'm going to be wealthy. Money's going to come my way in abundance. I'm not going to be poor. That's the other one. That's the temporal tap. I'm going to try to make this quick and end this now, but I'm going to put this video up here and there will be more to come. I again wanted to put something up since I didn't go away for the weekend. I am going away next weekend, so I will have a video probably of myself either on my way to Andover or on my way back next week, but I did want to add something to my videos. Please, if you are here, I do appreciate you taking the time to be here. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. If you have time, can you please go down there and hit the subscribe button? Also, if you don't have time for that or if you're not interested in subscribing to my channel, I don't fault you. But if you could please leave me a comment, a like, something, that would be really wonderful. And thank you once again so much for taking the time to see me. Namaste, peace and light, and I will see you again sometime soon. Be well. Ciao.